Hello and welcome to Nuendo 7. My name is Stefan Schutz. I have been working in game audio production for over 17 years. And in that time, I've used many pieces of software, software tools, apps to do the work that I do. However, throughout almost that entire 17 years, I've been using Steinberg products, Cubase and Nuendo. So what does this demo include? This demo has quite a few things that I put into it. It has some basic sound design. It has some of the more traditional linear aspects of laying out sounds to video, automation for volume and for panning. Um, we've got some sends and returns within the mixer where we are processing certain sounds to get the effect that we want. The idea of this is for you to download the demo, obviously, and for you to have a play around with it. And I mean really get into it and explore it. Don't be afraid of breaking anything. In fact, I would encourage you to try and break things. That's the best way to understand how something works. Get into this project. Have a look at what I've done. Move things around. Change the settings. If anything changes to the point where it no longer functions, it doesn't matter. You can just download it again. You can basically just hit the reset button and start all over. This is the best way for you to really discover what this program is capable of doing and to get a better understanding of how you can use Nuendo 7. Use it in conjunction, obviously, with the Nuendo 7 user manual. Any of the other tutorials that are available online, either video or downloadable projects, use them to build up your own knowledge of how Nuendo 7 works and exactly how it can work for you. And also to see just how powerful it is. Okay, so we're actually gonna start and work our way backwards here a little bit. What I mean by that is I'm actually starting in WISE. This is the end result of what we're trying to achieve working in this new window project. So what we have here in WISE is a very, very simple project. All we have is that one little block of sounds here. But these sounds have actually been taken from Nuendo. And what we've ended up with are the elements that we will use to get the end sound in the game project. So we have a series of different sounds that all go together to make the sounds that we're using for the deck gun. Now these will actually be combined in real time in the game to give us the effect that we want. But these have all been placed into Wise, directly exported out of Nuendo. So let's have a look at these in Nuendo. Edit Nuendo. Pop that down. And here are all of those elements that we've just seen in Wise. Now you can see here, there is actually deck gun clip. These have been assembled to create a sound as we would use it in both the Nuendo linear project as well as the game. So let's just move this out over here. And we can trigger that. And that's the sound we get of our deck guns being fired. And all of those have been exported directly from this new window project into WISE to allow us to use them in the game. So why have I put them together in new window in the first place? Well, if I zoom out here, you can see that I actually have an entire new window project going on here. And that is of a linear video. So we're working on a game project, but linear videos are just as relevant for game projects as they are for film and television. In this particular case, this video is used for a Kickstarter campaign. It could be used for something like a marketing video towards the end of a project or a blog of progress during production. So these sorts of videos are very, very common and get created all the time. So obviously you're gonna to need to produce a project in a door such as Nuendo lay out all your sounds to give you the linear video that you want. However, the way that Nuendo 7 works, it allows us to do the sound design in Nuendo 7 that we're working with for this video, but then the various different elements, as you can see right here, I'll zoom in on that. Here is our deck gun clip right here. You can hear it in the context of the video.
Now you can see that what I have here is a collection of the sounds actually in a clip. And when I zoom back out again to where we originally started, you can see all of those sounds down here. So this chunk down here, I produced this within the Nuendo project as a sound design exercise. I created the sound of the deck guns the way I wanted to out of the individual elements. And I'll just bring in, I used my media viewer here to find all the different elements that I wanted, drag those into the Nuendo project and created a separate little kind of sub project down here, which is our deck gun being fired. I then rendered that to a clip which allowed me to place the finished sound of a single deck gun and place it into the overall project mix here, where, as we've seen again, it triggers built, but it still has those individual elements. You can see those individual elements there, just so that it shows you visually that it's, this, is a, this is a compound sound. This is a complex sound that's been made out of other sounds, which are also available down there. Now they actually fall outside. I've positioned that after the video. You can see that the video finishes here. So this is one of the primary things that I have built into this demo. Now, if we have a look at the demo in general, what I'm gonna say here is that there are so many aspects of a program like Nuendo. There are so many functions and tools and plugins and processes. There is no way you can ever learn everything about a program like this through one or two demos and one or two tutorial videos. It's, it's a very, very complex piece of software, but it's also a very, very powerful piece of software. And the whole reason why I've created this project is to provide users such as yourself a place to play around in. You can download this and you can explore all the different elements and all the different things that I've done so let's go through some of the different elements of how I've built this. In some particular cases, we've got certain sounds which literally just exist as a sound file. I've pulled them into the project because they are the type of sound that I wanted to use. If we, don't, if we go right from the beginning, single sound file. I've put some pitch shifting on it and that really is a, a, a typical linear approach to adding a sound in to a video. So there's nothing particularly surprising there. There's nothing that I've done there that is particularly unusual within Nuendo or unusual within game development. So not everything that I've done in this is, is necessarily remarkable. There are areas such as down here we have the engines. Now the engines for this particular unit here, which is what I've called the Fury engine, um, if we solo that, I've put it into a folder here just so that I can see what's going on. Well what's actually going on here? We've got two layers going on. So if we solo just one layer, If we solo the folder, we're getting both of these tracks. And this is really, really handy. This is a really, really handy way of dealing with your projects. If I'm building an engine for something, and this is the, what the block looks like here, it is actually made up of these two components. And you could make it up of as many components as you want. But in this particular case, I can expand and contract the folder. So now I can actually see that there's two things going on in there, and I can solo that, and that's my sound for the Fury engine. I can open it up, I can unsolo that particular block and then solo the individual elements within it. So the folder structure is particularly useful because this is also the two components that I would use to create the sound within the game. So I would potentially have these both within one event and they might be multiple layers in an event or for some reason, I might decide to have them two separate events if I want to use that uh, as a layer for one particular ship and I want to use this one as a layer for three different ships, I might want to combine them in real time in the game. 
But either way, it's very, very handy to have them in the folder. And of course, that packages up all the automation we have here as well. A lot of what's happening here is done specifically for this linear video, as I mentioned. All of this automation, all the types of manipulation of pitch and volume that I would do in this linear manner with automation here, is not something that's going to be exported across to WISE. I would set that up individually within the WISE project and that would be controlled in real time. So obviously, I'm sharing assets between this linear video project and the WISE interactive game project. But then I've got the traditional types of automation, um, DSP effects and mixing that are specific to this linear video. And so as we play through it, you get certain aspects of sounds that are changed and manipulated. Uh, in fact, towards the end is a very good example where we've just got some engine sounds that we've thrown in towards the end and we've just put a little bit of uh, panning and pitching that accompanies that final logo and the little ship flying past. So we're gonna have a look at that. So all of that has been dealt with. with very, very traditional um, panning that we have in here. So we've got volume and pan control, and that's all done in very, very straightforward automation. You can see here, this has actually been extended multiple times. So you can see there, that's actually how long the sound is. Because in a game, that sound effect set to looping would be long enough. However, for the sake of this particular video, I've used it four times. And I've actually even put a, a fade out on the end there, obviously to match the, the volume fading. So this is an area where I've used directly used the game assets. This is an asset exactly as it would appear in the game and I've used it in the video. Whereas the deck guns is a sound that I've created in the video and then I've exported it to the game. So you've got the ability to work in both directions. A video such as this could be produced, say, around the middle of your production process for your game. And so at that particular stage, you may have the sounds for this particular spaceship, but you may not have the sounds for this one. And so the video can become a good opportunity for you to get some more sound design done for the game whilst producing the video. And the point of doing that in something like Nuendo is that time is not wasted. Assembling the sounds in Nuendo allows you to export them either as a finished clip or as a collection of sounds directly imported into WISE so that they can then be added to your project and you continue on in that way. Or you can take sounds that you have in your project, such as our little UI sounds here, and these can be used within the video. So this sound already existed, it's already in the WISE project, and I've just dragged it across or exported it into the Nuendo project to allow me to work on this video. So what we have is we have a workflow that works in both directions. We can work from WISE to Nuendo, we can work from Nuendo to WISE, and the assets within the game that we're using interactively can be brought into the linear project to add to the linear project, and the sounds that we are basically producing in the linear project can be mixed down to clips and then can be exported into the WISE project. So this demo should be seen as just another tool for you to get a better idea of what Nuendo 7 is capable of, for you to play around with, explore, experiment, and just see what you can achieve. And remember, you can download a demo of Nuendo 7 from the Steinberg website. So check it out, and thank you very, very much for watching.